The business of the city of Johannesburg continues as today we bring you two significant events that we've covered in the past few days. First, the city says the headache of billing issues is over through a new municipal payment portal called eJoburg. This is where you'll be able to download and view both current and historical municipal bills as well as pay your accounts electronically. We believe that uh, it's a great milestone that they will no longer spend their money calling to report queries. Uh, they don't have to go to the bank to pay their accounts. Uh, they don't have to come and queue at our offices. They just have to use their smartphone and interact with us. We have already spent about 25 million. So of course, as we add applications or functions in the, in the program, there will be more additional monies that, have, that are going to add. Um, right now, I can't give you the actual the future spent, but we are going to add, as the EMR saying, what's up? We are going to add the uh, ability to add more services. He emphasized on us being in a position to use one portal for more service delivery um, uh, issues that might come, your traffic lights, your grass cutting, and, and, and I pick that up. We will engage the team. I know the JRA has a fix and find. We'll have to see how integrating fix and find into this app. Of course, it will come with an additional cost. So once we are ready with those costings, we will be able to give to you guys that this is the overall uh, costing that we, we, we have on the app because we want to see the app working for the residents of Jobek and we are not going to compromise on that one. It is very user uh, friendly. Um, the entire registration process uh, can be done in under two minutes. So already it tells you um, <clears throat> it's a very easy to use system. And once you are registered, um, all accounts that are linked to your ID number are automatically uh, populated so there's no additional work that you must do to link your accounts uh, <coughs> uh, necessarily so it's a very user friendly so you can literally move from registering to paying your account under five minutes uh, of accessing the system. The key thing that I'm happy today is that it's going to fix our billing problems. Uh, we'll make sure that our entities City Power and Jobe Gota they get accurate meter readings that will load on the system. But in two weeks' time, I'm told that a customer can now load his or her own meter readings on the portal and immediately get an account and obviously pay the account immediately. I think with any system of this nature, it is important that uh, we invest a lot of resources in securing it. Uh, so the system is highly secured. Um, it is integrated directly with the banks. So you can imagine banks are very secured um, <clears throat> and it was also subjected to what they call penetration testing uh, where we hire our own um, <clears throat> uh, what they call ethical hackers to try and see if there are any vulnerabilities on the system uh, and thereafter if there are any uh, we ensure that they are resolved and they were all resolved before we went live. We want to use innovation as a city that is not shy of taking both steps. Now we move from the digital world to crime fighting as we witnessed 393 new JMPD trainees that were honored at a pass out parade at the Nesrek Expo Center. The importance of the story is that these men and women in blue were subjects of political infighting between the DA and ANC led administrations. And as a result, they suffered four years of uncertainty instead of 18 months of law enforcement training. Super excited, overjoyed. We've been waiting for this. It was very exhausting though, but it was quite a ride. I'm here to serve my community. I want to make Johanna Speck better. We want to make sure that there's no corruption, no killing of kids and women. We're going to protect our community. I've been here for about four years now, but then otherwise I'm happy now. It's what I've chosen. Uh, I call a police as a, as a calling. A, pol a police job is a calling. It's been a very, very long journey. A tiring one, but I'm very excited. I'm over the moon, but it's all from the grace of the Lord. When we took over in December 2019, we discovered that the, the initial training that they, they got uh, was not sufficient for them to be on the streets. They were paraded 
and uh, we believe that that parade shouldn't have taken place or shouldn't have taken place because it was wrong. So today we are happy, as I said earlier on, that they have graduated. But what kind of impact will these new officers have on crime fighting efforts in the city? It will assist us with the JMPD 10 plus per ward uh, that we have been promising the people of Johannesburg. It will also help us with the enforcement of what we have currently. But we still believe it's not enough, as I said uh, to, to MMC Mukwena, that we need to recruit at least 400 per cycle. The training takes, about, takes place about 18 months, so every 18 months we will train 400 uh, that will put on our street uh, to fight crime. We want the, the one city of Johannesburg to be a city where you live freely. And uh, we will be focusing also on the CBD. We want people in the CBD to work freely. We will focus on hijackings. But more importantly, we're going to be focusing on bylaws that um, people who build anywhere they, they want, uh, land invasion or land grab. So those things, we'll be focusing on them to make sure that we make the city clean. We also spoke to the man responsible for the JMPD's basic training program. The metropolis is divided into two qualifications. The first qualification being the traffic uh, qualification, which, which is an ex intensive one, which is uh, conducted for a period of 12 months. And once a, a traffic officer has been declared competent in that particular learning program, then he can be able to proceed to the, to the second leg, which is the, the law enforcement skills program. The executive mayor says partnerships between relevant stakeholders are imperative. As a commitment that we made that we want to work with uh, our communities, uh, we have infrastructure in our communities that we believe that must be protected. But it cannot not only be us, we need community to come on board to help us fight crime and fight this vandalism to our infrastructure. But we also want to work with the private sector uh, to make sure that we deal with this gauge of cable theft, stealing of mini substations, breaking our infrastructure. So it is critical that we work together as a city, as communities, as, as private partnerships uh, to make sure that we make Johannesburg a better place to be. Active crime prevention for the city of Johannesburg and in any given city really is very important, not only for the safety of our communities, but to drive the economy as well. 393 new trainees, Will they be enough to help win the war on crime in Johannesburg?